Would yeah. you would you tell me okay, since we out here thinking that this is all about loyalty and we live in a life where we realize loyalty doesn't exist, then what is it actually to be obtained or what's the goal? What's the, what, what can we actually get out of this if it's not loyalty? Um, I feel like we all what the loyalty life? Over love. Yeah, the whole where, 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 wherever we thought we was gonna find loyalty, if loyalty is not available, what could in this we gang possibly life, be available? Though. In this gang life, though. gang life. Okay, we leave well, it there. Well, you gotta understand this. Uh, uh, gang shit was made by children. You feel me? We was, we, you know, our, our big homies was kids when we made that. So a lot of our. I don't want to say I thought that already me? by being said that, but Come go on, ahead. Man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, so, man, preach. Yeah, man. So you know, like a lot of a lot of our uh, our lot of our uh, <clears throat> viewpoints and and, and and standpoints and guidelines they come from a childish type of you know outlook. But you know what I'm saying? The 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 rationalization in it is that this shit gang, whatever it is, like you know what I mean, wherever I'm from, nigga, this is you know I'm from Foldies, nigga. So that makes whatever type but irrational, you know what I mean? Why do we, uh, but like, you, you articulate this so well, I can do as well. So why do we not totally detach ourselves knowing that? Because because of what we, the loyalty that we experience coming into it. The loyalty that, that does loyalty, not exist? That, 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 that portrayal of loyalty, right? When we first came in, because if it was bad, motherfuckers wouldn't have stuck around. You come through, it ain't too many niggas coming to the hood, getting their ass beat every day, and this and that, and you know, so, so it was one type of calm area that made you feel like, oh shit, this shit for real. Like, niggas is really, they love me, everybody love me. Niggas pull up, nigga, you a young nigga, you don't know. Niggas pull up, yo, little homie, I got you on the, nigga, you know what I mean, so little homie. We, we the, still believe in that essence of that, 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 that pure, I got you, you got me. We still believe somehow man. deep down it exists. You gotta understand, man. You gotta understand, man. The, the the black man or the minority man is 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 you know, it's a fight out here. It's y'all mm. against everybody, you know what I mean? Type shit. So when you get that camaraderie, remember it ain't just these other people that's against you. That's how they want us to perceive it. Mm. Like, yeah, well, y'all felt a little pressure from the other side, so you joined the gang to kill them. Like, no, it was a, mm. a, a our, our actual loyalty came in on the pressure that we had from the world, from society. You feel me? So then, because we feeling like ain't nothing for us in the world, not just them niggas, including them niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga, so then we attached ourselves to the people because when we was broke or, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and the circumstances that they, you know what I mean, that they allow us to be in, you get what I mean? We attached to our boys. We attached to niggas where I'm sleeping at. I don't got nowhere to sleep. That's all a sign of poverty, bro. You get what I'm saying? Right. I don't got nowhere to sleep, so I attach. You let me sleep at your mama house. That's why when niggas get into it, it's like, nigga, nigga, I know your mama, nigga, like, nigga, I know you feel what I'm saying, because this is the part that attaches, you know what I mean, where, you know what I mean, and, and, and that builds that mentality, how they be like, oh, we don't got no, you know, no stake in the course, however, this type of, when you talk about the, the you know what I mean, the um the upper the upper class uh, child that's not dealing with none of that, all he did with his loyalty is coming from his parents, it's coming from his grandparents. A pure it's process, from, yes. Yeah, like they like, okay, that's who they attached to. When I don't get along with my mom and I feel like I'm no, I got nobody, I talk to my uncle and he's a, you know what I'm saying, a fucking um, uh, 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 um, successful whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? So, but when we attach, we attach to little, little Uzi Our Club. uncle, or our uncle, yeah, yeah. who ain't so successful. Yeah, right. And he learn to with, cut corners. And, and yeah. Come, come, man, this is how you do. This is how life is mm. for you right here, out here now. You feel mm -hmm. me? So it's like y'all, you know what I mean? Behind the scenes, y'all pushing us into the, learning from these people. You get what I'm saying? From from the people that's around us. Make sure they fucked up. So all y'all examples is mm. fucked up. You get what I'm saying? So this nigga 25, he ain't, re he don't, he, you know, he still, he think he got it figured out on God. I so thought he gonna I had give you, He gonna give you some real shit, like nigga on the real. But nigga, when you talking to that same person 10 years from now, he gonna be like, nigga, I was fucked up. And then we commit ourselves as youngsters to what he said yeah. and not realizing we have applied ourselves to less than appropriate. Boom. Go uh -huh. out there, smoke some, get life. Then you be like, man, these niggas really ain't for me. And that could have been the there. next Malcolm. Or tell or, me this: I, as I focus on the problem publicly, I like to give equal amount of time to possible solutions. Right. What do you think? Are we know everything we just discussed? It's all bad, down bad, fucked up, the worst. As people that would like to see it get better, we have no ideas. Just me and you looking at it. What are some of the things you think we should start doing actively? Not the big shit, but day to day. What steps should we take Man. to make sure that 
even after we're gone, the future may see a different experience when it comes to our communities. Create opportunities, man. First off, money, niggas, niggas ain't finna get along, nigga, we broke, period. First off, like, we, as long as we out here struggling this shit, that shit ain't ever gonna work. But, but we need to find ways to create opportunities for each other, you know what I'm saying? And make it where it makes sense. That's where, like I say, again, with the book, I like, I pull up, and I'm trying to give, you know what I mean, give some spotlight to these other places, like, so we can all, like, you know what I mean, so y'all can eat over there, we can eat over there, they can eat over, everybody eat, then that stop, we ain't, after we eat, I'm not coming to try to slide on you right mm-hmm. then, like, you feel me, so mm-hmm. we over here enjoying the spoils of our, you know what I mean, or whatever the case may be, bro, like, and 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 that's where it's going, that I, I, I feel like, Without without opportunities, bro, that's the shit that causes war, man. You feel me? This, this been since the beginning of time. Y'all got the food and the resources, then it's going to be war. If we don't got it over here, we going and looking for it. You put my mind on a viral clip I saw. It was a black or white clip, and it's a young black dude with a small fro. He's talking to a white man. He's like, sir, if I come to you and beg you for a piece of food, a piece of bread, and you tell me no, and I come and beg you again. He says, it's only so many times I'm going to come to you peacefully. Right. He said, every expert in the world will tell you the next move is to hit you over the head, right. sir. Right. So I resonate yeah. with that. Yeah, so so that all that's going to do is breed a, a, a war-type mentality. You feel me? So we ready to war with anything. Do you believe that the mentality of war that we possess as a people has to see its fulfillment and destruction in a whole new mindset has to erupt amongst us because I don't see the de- the, the destructive shit disappearing. So do you feel like it has to play out to eradicate itself or do you think that forever we're going to have a um, senseless element of murder and competition and, and dissension between us for no reason just because it's tribal just because it's fun or- yeah, that's a, it's really, yeah that's really a black that's really a black problem we dealing with that everywhere you know what I'm saying even places that don't Other really countries. consider they self gangs and shit like that they mm-hmm. they still warn just that's just how i black wonder people. about that because i think okay in la they say oh blacks murder black on black Ooh, i say okay gang banging yeah a lot of senseless but then you think about the states that don't got no gang banging they still got a black on black man. what the fuck it's an agenda man you know what i mean a black person is made to hate this is shit that's been in plans for you know, hundreds of cities, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, type shit. yeah, like, come on, man. Like, you know what I mean? So this like, this like, you know, uh, only, only the plan being hatched out. You feel what I mean? So black people got to, and, and we, and, and there's so much knowledge right now. Like, you feel me where you don't got to be ignorant. There's no, there's no reason mm. for a nigga to be ignorant out here. You feel me? So it's almost too much you know, knowledge. Yeah. Come on. Bro. As soon as you think you got to figure it out, you'll see a whole nother presentation so elaborate yeah. and, and thought out that disagrees you like whoa so right. yeah so you send you on that yeah. send you on that internet spiral yeah. you knowing nothing me? is is a is no excuse for There's knowing no nothing excuse man you, you should either know saying? enough or too much you yeah. should not know nothing nothing that's man. true so you know what i mean so with that now what are we doing if we know what's going on and we conscious and we, you know what i mean or whatever I think if, I, if we keep running into the damn wall like what the fuck you know what i mean so and that's just you know we it, it's it's really like i say it's really the environment that we in it's like i can't if i stay right here on vernon i can't really just be like i'm just gonna stop gang banging because them niggas don't give a fuck if i right. stop gang banging right you get what i'm right. saying so right. as long as i'm in a pit nigga it's gonna be you know what i mean and then once you leave you kind of lose a little bit of the favor in the land and shit like you know what i mean so it's tricky i get it you know i get it talk that you talk feel me? So it's, you know what i mean so it's tricky bro about about what you do that's why you catch motherfuckers over there because they still like man you know i'm gonna stay so i need in this because and then yeah. phew, some slide on you, mm. the man gets smacked, or or you have to knock something down being over and there. Now you out of here. Like, yeah, mm. like and it's Mickey. You feel what 